people, good people. Thank you for tuning in to Love, Faith, and Power Christian Ministries Live, man. Share this post. Tag this post. Let someone know that Love, Faith, and Power Christian Ministries we're on, and we're on right now. We're under the leadership of Bishop Richard Carnegie and Pastor Barbara Carnegie. Come on in, man. Come on in, whether you're in the sanctuary or whether you live. Enjoy this wonderful encounter. God's going to show up wherever you need right on this live. Your healing, your miracle, your deliverance is right here on the live. Please take time to get our app, the Tively app. Make sure you get our app. All the sermons, anything that you need is inside the app. All our announcements is inside the app. Please get the app, like this page, share this page, share the app. Let someone know that love, faith, and power of Christian ministries were on and we're on right now. God bless you and enjoy this worship encounter. I want to personally invite you to join us every Tuesday night at 7.30 p.m. for Inside the Scriptures with Bishop and Pastor Carnegie and our guest panel. This is our unique Bible study experience where we take a deep dive into the Word. Join us in person inside the sanctuary or online. Hope to see you there. Listen up, ladies. We're going to the beach. May 12th, meet us at 9.30 a.m. at Love, Faith, and Power Christian Ministries. We're all going to meet, go on down to Myrtle Beach, fellowship together, Let's go to the beach. God bless you. What's up, family? Listen, we got a quick, quick message that we need you guys to listen to. This third Sunday, we will not be in the building. I know. I know. We won't be in the building, and we won't be live uh, on the third Sunday. But we will be at New Zion Missionary Baptist Church Bye. for Pastor Watterson, my daddy, his Pastoral anniversary. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, how many years is it? Uh, I think it's 16. That's it. We're going to have a good We're time. We're going to have a good time because I know Bishop is about to bring a bring mighty word. word. Bring so word. join us at the address below and meet us for our fellowship service on the third Sunday. Hello, LFPCM family. I'm here to invite you to join us May 20th at 730 p.m., and May 21st at 8.30 a.m. here at the church to help us prepare meals for the homeless. Every action you take is a seed sowed. Every seed you sow is a harvest you'll reap. So take a little time and come help us bless the community at Bread of Life Ministries. Don't meet me there, beat me there. Listen up, June 25th, 2022, we will have our Youth Vendor Expo. Listen, Cubs, I need you to invite your friends, your family, and if you have a business, I want you to sign up and participate. We are showcasing the businesses of young business owners, okay? See me, inbox me, email me, so that you can get signed up to participate in our Youth Vendor Expo, June 25th, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's gonna be a great day, and I cannot wait to see you. Hello everyone, Shepherd's Care Plate Sale will take place on May the 27th, started at 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. at 2811 Lee Avenue, Sanford, North Carolina. Plates are $10 for one meat and two vegetables, $14 for two meats and two vegetables. Extra vegetables are $2 each. You can place your order now by contacting the numbers below. Family, listen up. This fifth Sunday, we are having what we love to call twin, twin day. day. You know what I'm saying? Twin day. It's going to be epic. Listen, mm -hmm. they used to call us twins back they then. They did now. They, they did. I mean, hey. You know, I, I think we're looking like now. Yeah, you know, I, mean, I, you know. I think I'm a nice looking brother. You know, I, you know, I think I'm a nice looking All brother. Right, you you know. know. Anyway, <laughs> meet us here, fifth Sunday, fifth month. Come dress like somebody. Dress down. Just look good. It's Twin Sunday. Bring your sister look alike. Bring your brother look alike. Fifth Sunday, fifth month, 5522. Twin Day. Hey everybody, the Senior Citizens Ministry is having our Sweet Treats fundraiser for the whole month of May. We will be selling a half dozen dipped strawberries for $20 each. You can get your choice of up to two flavors. Milk chocolate, dark chocolate, 
vanilla, or caramel. You can start placing your orders now by contacting the number. Good morning, Love, Faith, and Power. It is the month of May, and this month we celebrate the women, okay? It is Women's Month at Love, Faith, and Power. All month long, you will see us highlighting our female ministers here in the ministry. Also, if you stay connected on our website, you'll see some special spotlights about our female volunteers here at our church. So it's gonna be an exciting month. Make sure you stay connected online and right here on Sunday mornings. Fourth Sunday is Women's Day. We invite all of the women to wear red and help us celebrate real big. All right, we'll see you there. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, let's give God praise on this morning. Come on, let's give God praise. Come on, if we start early, we don't have to work so hard later on. Come on, if we start early, we don't have to work hard later on. Come on, let's give God praise on this morning. Father God, we love you. We worship you. We give you honor. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Come on, bless your name, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're worthy. You're worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give your name glory. We give your name honor. Come on, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Father God, you're worthy. God, you're worthy. God, you're worthy. Come on, let's say this together. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Come on, say it again. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. I will bless the Lord at all times. Come on, I will bless the Lord at all times. Come on, let's put some action behind it. Come on, everybody, put your hands together. Come on, give God a wave. Give God an offering this morning. Come on, it starts right now. Come on, it starts right now. Come on, we gotta come in here with the mindset to go get it. You're worthy. Hallelujah. Come on, Lord, you're good. Lord, you are good. Come on, everybody, clap, 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 clap. Hey. Come on, how many believe that God is good on this morning? Good and 
with every hand lifted. Thank him for what he's done. Yes, Lord. Realize current circumstances could take you out, but thank you, God, for what you've done. Everybody's facing something in this room right now, but thank you, God, for what you've done. Thank you, Lord, for being good. Thank you, God, for every time that I've opened my eyes this morning. You have me on your mind. Thank you for what you've done, for what you're doing, and what you're getting ready to do. Come on, I want everybody to set an expectation on this morning. That's between you and God. Set the expectation. Yes, God. Come on, we got to remain confident. Where are my confident believers at? I 
I will see the goodness of the Lord. I will remain confident in this. I will see the goodness of the Lord. The Lord is the Lord hey. is my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is No matter what I'm faced with, I will remain confident in you. No matter how ugly that situation is, I will remain confident in this. I will see the goodness. Come on, say it out. Say it out. I will remain. I will remain. Come on, if you're lacking confidence in him, let him know I will remain. I will remain confident. confident in this. I will see the goodness. Thank you, Lord. Said I will remain. I will remain confident. confident in this. I will see the goodness of the Lord.
I will remain confident in this. Come on, no matter what it looks like, I will remain confident in this. Yes, God. I'm pretty sure you're asking, what is this? Said I will remain confident in this. Everything that he said, everything that is done, everything that is promised, say, I will remain confident in this. Can y'all say that? Hey, I will remain confident in this. Put whatever you want in this. Hey, I will remain confident in this. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Let's raise it. I will remain. I will remain confident, confident in this. Hey, whatever you got for me, God, I'm confident in it. Hey, I will remain. I will remain confident in this.
Come on, how many want to see it? Come on, how many want to see it? Better yet, how many have already seen a glimpse? How many have already seen a glimpse? How many times have you been placed in a situation where you didn't know that you were going to make it out? How many have seen a glimpse? But you remain confident. You remain bold with it. I will remain confident in this. I want to let that go. But I will remain confident in this. Come on, I feel like somebody's got some doubt right here. That you don't know if you're going to make it out. But I encourage you on this morning that your confidence will breed your blessing if you just remain confident. I will remain confident in this. I will remain confident in this. I will remain. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise your name, God. Praise your name, God. The song says, I will remain confident in this, knowing that God is a good God. He's not a man that he should lie. Whatever he promised you, he's going to fulfill it. All you have to do is put your trust in him, put your hope in him, have confidence that he will do just what he said he would do. You can see the goodness of the Lord in the Thank land the of the living Hallelujah. if you put your confidence in God, Thank knowing that he's not a man that he should lie, oh, that he can do whatever he wants to do. He, he can do whatever he said he would do. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. He's a good father, a good, good father. He knows how to give good gifts to his children. All you got to do is have confidence in him. Put your trust in him. Don't doubt, because he will do what he said he's going to do. Amen? Yes, Hallelujah. If you have confidence in your God on today, you need to give him praise. Hallelujah. Give him thanks and stand and wait patiently for him to come through, because he'll come through every time. He won't let you down. He won't let you fall. He's right there to pick you up when you need him. He's right there to give you everything that you desire if you just put your trust in him. Put your confidence in him. He's not a man that he would lie. He would do just what he said he would do. The, the praise team saying he's a good God. Yes, he's a good God. He's always been a good God. He always will be a good God. He's the everlasting father. He will be here to the end of time. Hallelujah. If you put your confidence in him, you'll, you'll be able to reign with him. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We're going to go before the Lord in prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we just thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we can put our confidence in you. We can put our hope and trust in you, God, knowing that you're going to do whatever it is we need you to do. Hallelujah. God, we bless your name on the day, God. We give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. God, we thank you for all that you've done for us, for all that you're going to do. God, we just thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, for bringing us to this place one more time in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you for your protection, God, for your love, for your mercy, and your grace, God. Hallelujah. God, we know that your mercies are new every day, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And God, we ask in the name of Jesus that you will bless our leadership on today, God. Bless our bishop and our pastor. God, we ask that you will bless every member of this congregation. Father God, we ask that you will just have your way in this place on today, God. Let your spirit fill this place, God. Let your presence fill this place on today, God. Have your way, Lord, in the name of Jesus. God, we ask that you will supply every need, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we ask that your word will come forth on today, God. Through your servants on today, God, with power and authority, God. 
with clarity and conviction in the name of Jesus. Father God, let your word come forth, God, to destroy every yoke of bondage in the name of Jesus. Let your word come forth with deliverance, God, with salvation, God. Hallelujah, God, we just thank you, God. Thank you for what you're going to do, God. God, we thank you for what you've already done, God, but we thank you for what you're going to do on today, God. We thank you for the blessings that you're going to bestow upon us on today, God. Hallelujah, God. We lose the spirit of praise and worship in this place on today, God. God, we praise you for what you're going to do. We stand in expectation, God, of what you're going to do in our lives on today. God, we thank you for the ones that are here in the sanctuary. God, we thank you for the ones that are joining on Facebook Live. And God, we ask that you will not allow anyone to leave the service on today without being changed by your word. In the name of Jesus. And Father God, we say have your way in this place. Have your way in us and through us, God. In the name of Jesus. Father, we'll forever give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Praise the Lord. Good morning to each and every one of you in the building on today and to everyone that's watching on Facebook. I'd like to welcome you to our Love, Faith, and Power Christian Ministries worship um, service on today. And I ask that um, you all would plug into the service on today and give God your very best praise. Our motto is love God, love people, and serve the commun community. And we thank you for again joining us this morning for our worship encounter. And be sure to share on live stream and help us spread the love of Jesus. Stay connected with us on Facebook, on Instagram, and YouTube. And also you can visit our website, www.lfpcmnc.org. Please stand at this time and give our um, pastor and bishop a hearty um, hand, um, hand clap this morning. And we bless you on today, Pastor and Bishop, and we love you so very much. Praise the Lord. This is Women's Month, and our theme is I Am God's Masterpiece, Psalms 139 and 14. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows well. Fourth Sunday is Women's Day. We invite you to join us. And we are going to be wearing red, and dinner will be served after the service. Fourth Sunday, fifth Sunday is also our soul seeing Sunday, and we ask that each and every one please join us in sowing a $50 seed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. I don't know about you, but I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. If I were to look at my circumstances today, I wouldn't have a, a spirit of rejoicing. But I choose to look at to the hills from whence cometh my help, knowing that all my help comes from the Lord. Therefore, I can rejoice. Amen. It's giving time in the house of the Lord. Anybody ready for giving? I got one hand clap back there. Bishop, one hand clap. It's giving time in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on and bring that tithe up. If you are a tithe on this morning, join me to my left. Amen. Ain't nobody happy about giving today. Amen. You're not a tither, go ahead and get your offering in your hand and stand to your feet. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you again for this opportunity to give back to you. 
that which you have blessed us with. God, I pray on today you'll bless every giver. In the name of Jesus, God, I pray you'll meet their every need for their obedience and giving on today. God, I pray, God, you'll let, the, let their households lack for no good thing. In the name of Jesus. And God, I always pray that you make us good stewards of all that's bought into this house, God. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Our tithers are coming. Praise the Lord, everybody. <laughs> I need everybody to stand for me. Everybody to stand, everybody to stand. We're going to do our offering decree. Um, it comes from Nehemiah 4 and 6, and I want everybody to read it together. And it reads, so built we the wall, and all the wall was joined together. Until the half thereof, for the people had a mind to work. What I want to let everybody know that there is a vision in this house. There is a vision in this house, and every dime that you give goes towards that vision. Our bishop, he sees it, he believes it, and we stand behind him. That is what is mandatory for us to do, okay? So... With that, with that being said, if you can get as close to it, $25 as possible. Um, Ms. Berlin, raise your hand. That is your guide on this offering train, okay? Everybody get in sync. Let's give. Now come on and bless the Lord for real all over the sanctuary. I need you to bless him like you know his name. Bless him like you know he's God and that there is no other. Hallelujah. Bless him like you know he is a savior. Bless him like you know he is our king. Like he is Jehovah. Hallelujah. Bless him like you know he's a healer. Bless him like you know he is a God of deliverance. Bless him, come on, like you know. Hallelujah. 
He is. He is your strength. He is your peace. Hallelujah. He is your comfort. And he fights for you. Come on. I need you to bless him like you know him. Hey, I need you to bless him like you know him. Don't rush me this morning. I need you to bless him like you know him. Come on. We done came in the house lazy this morning. I need you to bless him like you know him. Oh, come on. Bless him like you know him. Like he is the one who gave you strength. Like he is the one who gave you life. Hallelujah. Like he is the one who gives you breath in your body. Come on, bless him. Hey, come on, bless him. Hallelujah. Come on, I need you to charge the atmosphere. I need you to charge the atmosphere. Where is your expectation? Where is your faith? Glory. Come on, bless him like you know him. Hey, come on, bless him like you know him. Bless him like you know him. The enemy will be defeated and God will be glorified. Bless him like you know him. Hey, 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 come on. Open up your mouth. Give the name of the Lord glory. Give the name of the Lord glory. Come on, don't get tired. Bless him. Don't get weary. Bless him. Hallelujah. 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 With the praise of expectation. With the praise that God has what you need. With the praise that God has what you need this week. That God has what you need right now. In this very moment. In this very hour. Come on and praise him. Hey. Come on and praise him. Give him what you got. Come on, give him what you got this morning. Hallelujah. You might not have a lot, but give it to him. You might not have a lot of strength, but give him what you got. Hey, you might not have a lot, but give it. Hey, come on. Give him what you got. Hey, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is our God. He is our shepherd. He is our Lord. Hallelujah. He is our way maker. He is our provider. He is everything that we need. Hallelujah. I said he's everything that you need. 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 He's everything that you need. Tell your neighbor he's everything you need. He's everything you need. Whatever need you got today, you serve a God that can meet it. You serve a God who is able. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey, we thank you, Lord. We thank you. Hallelujah. I was going to sing a little tune, but y'all done took all my strength trying to bust through the atmosphere this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, whenever you come into the house of God, can I say it, say it for a moment? Anytime you come into the house of God, it is important that you come with expectation. Anytime you come into the house of God, it is important that you enter with expectation. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't care how much you got. If it's just a little bit, offer it up to him and let God meet the expectation. But when you come with nothing, hallelujah, he's going to have a hard time helping you. Glory to God. Offer up to him what you have, whether it's the fruit of your lips, the clapping of your hands, the lifting up your, of your hands, the dancing in your feet. Offer it up to God sincerely with sincere praise, sincere worship. Hallelujah. The sanctuary is a place you should be able to get strength. Ha. Huh. It's a place 
where we should be able to come in and get strength for the week hallelujah for the next day ahead glory so you can't allow the past week to dictate your praise for today you can't allow your disappointments to dictate your praise for today because today might be your day because today might be the day that God released something with your name on it hmm? hallelujah do it for me one more time and bless his name come on bless his name bless his name hallelujah glory to God hallelujah thank you Lord while you're standing clap your hands for the bishop and the pastor of this house I know y'all did it earlier I was in the bathroom and it sounded real bad so clap your hands I'm gonna stop holding back on y'all I'm gonna walk in what the Lord has given me as an elder honor the man and the woman of God in this house we honor our pastor hallelujah hallelujah we have to learn to do better and honor the headship of this house. We should scream and holler for the ones who labor for us every week, every day. Glory. I'm not telling you to kiss at their feet. I'm telling you to honor the God in them. Hallelujah. They walk in what they preach. I know I lived with them 30, 30, 20 some odd years. I'm 36. I lived in their house a long time. So I know that honor is due unto them. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to be before you too long this morning. Amen. I'm going to preach and pastor is coming behind me. If you didn't know, it's Women's Month. Amen. So we have um, a couple of preachers coming up each Sunday. Today is our day. Happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers that are here on today. Happy Mother's Day to each and every one of you. Amen. And for those of you who are missing your mother today, we pray, we pray that the comforting spirit of God be with you on your heart today. Amen. Amen. Because somebody's sad today. Somebody's heart is broken today. Amen. And it's hard for them to get through today. And so we pray for them. Amen. That's why when we come into the house, we got to come with praise. So that the ones who are weak can gain strength. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. So we're coming from this morning, we're coming from Jeremiah 18. The theme of this month is I am God's masterpiece. Can you say it with me? I am God's masterpiece. Amen. And so we're preaching from the theme this morning. I am God's masterpiece. I'm going to go ahead and read for you all uh, the verses. Is that okay with you, Pastor? Amen. I'm going to read for you chapter 18, verse 3 through verse 6. And I will be covering the first half, and Pastor is going to close it out. Amen. Amen. I don't know about you, Pastor. I feel something peculiar. Amen. I feel an anointing, and I feel the glory of God. Hallelujah. And so those of you that are here, amen, please, please open your heart and your mind to hear from the Lord today. Amen. That the Lord may bless you and do what he wants to do in your life through the word of God. Amen. Amen. We're going to begin reading at verse 3. If you will stand to your feet. If you don't have it in your hand, it should be on the screen for you. Hallelujah. We honor God and his word. Verse 3 says, Then I went down to the potter's house, and there he was making something at the wheel. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again into another vessel, as it seemed good to the potter to make. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, can I not do with you as this potter? Says the Lord, look, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand, O house 
of Israel. You may have your seats there. Again, our topic today, our message, I am God's masterpiece. I am God's masterpiece. A masterpiece. Masterpiece is a work of outstanding artistry or workmanship. And a masterpiece is the original of its kind. It paves the way for others to come after it. A masterpiece is one of very, very high critical praise. And it is considered the greatest work of one's career. You may have heard of uh, the Statue of David. The Statue of David is a sculpture created in marble by the great Italian artist, Michelangelo. I learned about him in school. It was considered, this statue is considered a beautiful masterpiece of art. You may have heard of the Choral Symphony, which is a musical composed by the great Beethoven. This is considered a masterpiece. And uh, the thing is, is some of the most amazing artists, artists who we uh, today may call amazing artists, they never have a body of work that is considered a masterpiece. They may be great at what they do. They, they may be on billboards. Their name may be in the top five, the top 10, the top 100, but it is very rare that a creator can reach such a claim and even more rare to have multiple works called a masterpiece. I'm going somewhere this morning. Though he has never received an award for his work, he doesn't have a trophy shelf up in heaven for his creations. I want to submit to you today that everything God creates is a masterpiece. When it comes to his skill and his workmanship, I like to call God the ultimate creator. And I call him that because everything that he creates is an original. It cannot be replicated. The book of Genesis, it takes us through how masterful God created the earth and the world. And it tells us he spoke it into existence. And after God took five days, to speak his vision of the world into existence, it tells us that he then uh, gave life to man. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that before we are even formed in the womb, that God already knows us. He is the mastermind. He's the mastermind behind the creation of everyone in this room today. He's the mastermind behind every single human being and the process, the entire process of how God creates us individually is masterful. Do you agree this morning? You are an entire person in the mind of God before you are physically formed. Hallelujah. Now this really, I had to really let this soak into my spirit because really, something like this, everything God does, we cannot uh, really wrap our mind around. We don't have complete understanding of everything that God does. But I need you to let this sink into your spirit. Because if you do, the rest of the message will bless you. The entire process of how God creates you is masterful. You're formed in his mind before you're physically formed. Everything about you is completely and intentionally thought out, glory, before you are physically formed. Can I say that one more time for you? Everything about you is completely and intentionally, get that, thought out before you are physically formed. Point at yourself and say, I am God's masterpiece. I am, I am God's masterpiece. When God created you, he also gave you an identity. I had to go here for a moment. Uh, listen, this was a hard message for me because I wanted to say so much, but I really had to stay within some limits. 
because pastor coming to preach too. So just, just pray with me, y'all. This, this, this was hard for me, okay? But the Lord did tell me to make sure I let you know that when he created you, he gave you an identity. Hallelujah. Identity is an area of our lives that Satan likes to attack. From childhood to adulthood, Satan attempts to launch attacks on your identity. And he feels like the earlier he can get you confused about your identity, the better. How many young people I got in here? If you're under 17, raise your hand. If you're under 17, raise your hand. I'm going to say this for you. I hope y'all listening. Satan... Feels like the earlier he can confuse you about your identity, then the better he is when it comes to your life. Hmm? Your identity is at the core of who you are. And Satan wants to hide from you that you are God's masterpiece. I said Satan wants to hide from you that you are God's masterpiece. What does he do to do this? Well, Satan likes to put false identities in front of us with hopes that we will attach ourselves and model ourselves after them. We see these TV personalities and we see models with perfect body shapes we see actors with perfect skin tone and people who have altered their identity to fit into certain social groups. Hmm? But we want to frame who we are after them rather than tapping into the original identity God gave us when he created us. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord said to me that there are way too many of his children who are walking around with false identity or walking around and don't know their identity at all. Children of God walking around saying, well, who am I? Who, who am I called to be? What am I supposed to be doing? I want to tell you this morning, you're a masterpiece. I said, you're a masterpiece, and you have been created, molded in the image of God. You belong to God. Hallelujah. The one who knew you before you were formed in the womb. God was intentional. I said, God was intentional about the color of your skin. He was intentional to make you light skinned. He was intentional making you dark skinned. Somebody had to have blemishes. Somebody had to have freckles. Hallelujah. Somebody had to be big boned. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He's intentional about the anatomy of how you are made. All of us can't be perfect in shape and size. Somebody got to be wide. Somebody got to be skinny. Somebody got to have long hair. Somebody got to have short hair. Hallelujah. Somebody got to have wide shoulders. Somebody got to have skinny legs. But it doesn't mean that you're not a masterpiece of God. Somebody shout, I am a masterpiece. Hallelujah. No matter how God decided to create you, he created a masterpiece. God, God did not get it mixed up. I said God didn't get it mixed up. When he created you, he didn't get it mixed up. He didn't mix your clay with somebody else's clay. When he created you, you are his craft. Hallelujah. You are his workmanship. Glory to God. You are his creation. You are valuable to him. Let me say that again. You are valuable to him. And you are his good work. I said, you're a good work. Hallelujah. I came to encourage somebody this morning. You're a good work. I want you to tell your neighbor, neighbor, you are a good work. Hallelujah. And the Bible tells us that when God begins a good work, he sees it to the completion. Hallelujah. You're a good work. Glory to God. Satan does not want you to know that you are God's masterpiece 
Because when you come into this knowledge, when you are aware that you are his masterpiece, now you have this confidence in who God created you to be. Oh, glory to God. Now you have a confident walk. You have a confident talk about who God formed you to be. Now, listen, I didn't say arrogant. I said confident. Arrogance brings you glory. Confidence brings God glory. So understand, we don't walk in arrogance. We walk in confidence. Hallelujah. Can you agree with me there? Hallelujah. And my confidence is this, that I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I said my confidence is that I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm confident my soul knows it well. Hallelujah. That I am a marvelous work of the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 4 tells us that the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. The word marred means to be spoiled or, or impaired, disfigured, glory. It could also mean harmed or damaged. And the Bible says that the clay was in his hand. The clay was in the hand of the potter and it was marred. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you this morning, listen, when affliction happens in your life, you're in the safest place possible. Now, I know y'all not listening because you should have shouted real loud right there. You should have clapped your hands when I said it. When affliction happens in your life, remember God allows the affliction. So when it happens in your life, you're in the safest place possible. Woo! Verse 4, it helps us to understand that because God is the potter and we are the clay, then we are always in a safe place. I need you to open your mouth and say, I'm always in a safe place. It may have hurt me, but I was safe. You may have did me wrong, but I was safe. They lied on me. But I was safe Scandalized my name But I was safe Hurt my feelings But I was safe In a safe place When they tried Tried to break me I was safe When the enemy Came to my doorstep I was safe Because I'm in The master's hands Cause I'm in The I'm safe. I said I'm safe. That's why I can testify that I'm still here because I'm safe. That's why I can testify that I'm standing on the promise of God because I'm safe. That's why I can testify I got breath in my body because when the enemy tried to take me out I was safe I was in in the Lord's hands safe in his hands safe in his hands here's why you owe God praise even when you sin against God he is merciful yes he is you can go to the Lord and boldly pray Father forgive I did wrong. Father, forgive me for my sin and what God does. He restores you. I said he restores you back unto him. That was the message God was sending through the prophet. Tell my people, restore them. Yes, I will. Stay in the will. I'll restore you. Stay in the wheel. I'll cover you. Stay in the wheel. I'll protect you. You're in my hands. You're in my arms. Yes, you are. I don't know about you, but I'm glad that I'm in his hands. I said I'm glad I'm in his hands. After all I've done, after all I've said, I'm glad. I'm in his hands. After all the sin I've done, I'm so glad I can go to the Father and say, Father, forgive me. I know I sinned. And the Lord restores me, restores 
I said, I'm so glad that God didn't take me off the wheel and throw me away. But what God did was put me back on the wheel and made me. I said, He made me over again. He made me over. He made me over. Left me on the wheel. Aren't you glad that God didn't take you off the wheel? I said, aren't you glad that God didn't take you off the wheel? You know you deserved it, but he left you on the wheel. I said he left you on his wheel so he can make you over, over again. So he can make you over again. You're not messed up clay. God will preserve The Lord said to tell you that you're valuable to him. The Lord said to tell you you got value. You got value. Testify to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm valuable. I'm valuable. I'm valuable. The Lord, when he created you, he gave you value. Now I looked up. What happens with a vehicle when it leaves the lot? And studies show when you drive a new car, it can be a 2022 off the lot. It immediately loses value. It immediately loses 10% of its value. But the Lord said, I don't care what you've done. You're still valuable to me. You're still my masterpiece. You're still my chosen. You're still mine. You belong. You belong to the Lord. Now open your mouth and thank God because you got value. Thank God because you're his masterpiece. Come on, thank God. Oh, bless him, bless him, bless him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord because you're in his hands. Praise him. Give him glory because you're in his hands. He could have let you drown a long time ago. But because you're his masterpiece, he decided to put you back on the wheel. He didn't tell you you were so marred that I can't use you. He didn't tell you that you're so messed up that you're not valuable to me no longer. He picked you up, put you back on the wheel, and continued to make you, continue to mold you, continue to put you the way he designed you to be. God doesn't throw away messed up clay. God doesn't throw away messed up clay. He continues to make you, mold you, create you, stir you, physically put you together piece by piece from the top to the bottom. You look like that's what God wanted you to be. You're his masterpiece. You're not messed up. You're not no good. You're not inconsiderate. You're not invaluable. You are worth more than what you think you are. You may not own a house on a hill. You might not have houses and land, but God's value on you is worth more than rubies and diamonds. Hallelujah. You're valuable. You're valuable. Hallelujah. Look at yourself and say, I'm a masterpiece and I'm created by the master. I'm a masterpiece and I'm created by the master. I don't care what you think I might ought to be, but long as God has me in his hands, I don't care what man might say. I don't care what man might think. I am fearfully and wonderfully.
wonderfully made by the ultimate Potter. Hallelujah. He put me on his wheel. And he didn't take me off until he was ready, until he was finished creating me. Hallelujah. I got a few scratches. I got a few bruises. I got a few bumps. Hallelujah. I was knocked off the wheel a couple of times, but the Lord picked me up, placed me back, and started molding me all over again. Hallelujah. God doesn't throw you away. I'm in the master's hands. I'm in the master's hands. I don't know about you, but I'm glad the Lord decided to keep me in his hands. I don't know about you, but I'm glad that I belong to him. I don't know about you, but I'm glad he makes me into what he wants me to be. I don't know what you think I ought to be, but I'm exactly what God has designed me to be. There's a few pottery pieces that shape one way. There's another pottery piece that might shape another way, but I'm fearfully and wonderfully made in the shape that God would have me to be designed in. I might not be 34, 26, 34, hallelujah. But the Lord, but the Lord thinks I'm a 10 on his scale because he designed me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm in the master's hands. I'm in the master's hands. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory. I'm in the master's hands. He said, can I not do with you, O Israel, what the potter did? Can't nobody do you like Jesus. I don't care what the potter did. He was trying to tell Jeremiah, if the potter can make some clay like he wants it to be, surely the ultimate potter can make you into what he wants you to be. Marred up, messed up, tied up, tangled up, messed up one side down the other. It doesn't matter because the potter can put you back together again. It doesn't matter what life throws at you. God can put you back together again. You might be sick one day, but tomorrow, because he can make you all over again, you can be healed. Hallelujah. He's the potter. Surely, if we're in the potter's hand and we stay in his hand, he can make us and mold us into what he will have us be. Hallelujah. He says to Jeremiah, surely, surely, if the potter can make some valuable clay. Surely I can do the same with you, Israel. Surely because I'm the potter. Surely I can make some valuable out of your life. Surely if you allow me to make you, to mold you, to shape you, to break you, to turn you around, to lift you up. Surely, one day, you'll sit on my shelf and be the most valuable piece I ever created. That's what potters do when they create pottery. They shine it up. They put some gloss on it. Then they present it to the world as a valuable piece. So it is 
with the Lord when you've gone through hell and high water the master takes you put you on the wheel sign you up take all the dents out take all the scars away and shine you up gloss you over and then present you as a valuable piece and not just any old value you're more valuable than anything else God created he places you out there to have dominion why would he make trash to have dominion he said I give you dominion over all that I've created so therefore you are the ultimate value unto God because he gave you the power we're in the hands of the master we're in the hands of the creator we're in the hands of the ultimate potter all we have to do is stay on the wheel. All you have to do is stay on the wheel. Somebody ain't hearing me. All you have to do is stay on the wheel. So the master can make you into what he'd have you be. Hallelujah. Anybody on the wheel this morning? Anybody on the wheel this morning? Yes, Lord. He told Jeremiah to go down to the potter's house. And there I will cause you to hear my voice. When you're on the wheel, you can hear from the Lord. Mm. All you need is a word. All you need is a word from the Lord. And when you stay on the wheel, when you stay on the wheel, part of Jeremiah, the Lord told Jeremiah to look as the clay is in the potter's hands. So are you in my hand. Whose hand are you in this morning? Whose hand are you in? There's one verse of scripture that says that God puts our name in his hand. We're in his hand. He don't forget us. You know how when you were in school, you make a little cheat sheet in your hand? I didn't never do that. But you know how y'all, we're in his hand. He doesn't forget us. No matter what we're going through, God looks at his hand and said, there's my child going through. But I didn't forget you. All I have to do is take you like a lump of clay put you back on my wheel and start all over again. A potter's wheel turns and turns and turns until that piece of pottery is smoothed out into what God will have it be. And that's what he's saying to you this morning. Elder Branch took me a whole different way. Well, she did, but she didn't. So I just kind of closed my book. But if you're not in the master's hands on this morning, if you're not in the master's hands, I'm admonishing you on today to get in his hands. Maybe you're here today and you haven't given your heart to the Lord. And you're saying, I need to get on the potter's wheel. If that's you, I invite you to the altar. Mm. 
And maybe you have been on his wheel, but you've allowed life circumstances to cause some Mars in your pottery, to cause some Mars in your clay. You've been bruised, you've been battered, you've been torn, you've been broken. The potter wants to put you back together again. I wish I knew that how to sing that song. Sing it for me, Minister Matthew. You know that song. The potter won't. God bless you. We want to thank you so much for worshiping with us today. Even though you may not be here with us in the sanctuary, we thank you for your presence online. Now, remember this, we consider you a very important part of our church family. We are so excited that you decided to join us today, and I hope and pray that something was said or done that will bless you real good. We just want to take this opportunity to pray for you. In Jesus' name, let us pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, Hallelujah. hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Dear Heavenly Father, we come, God, thanking you for your goodness, your grace, your mercy, and your favor. Thank you for how you blessed us through this service. And God, we thank you for every viewer. God, we pray that you'll meet every need in their lives and that blessings will overflow unto them. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. Until bless next you. time, God bless you.